My name is Princeton and I am 14 years old and I'm from Charleston, South Carolina. I am very musical and I play a couple instruments with my favorite band, piano. From a very early age, I was exposed to a lot of different types of music since my dad would do electronic music and my mom would sing and play guitar. So I was very surrounded by, I guess, an aura of music that it definitely influences how I do stuff today. I probably started composing at about eight years old. I was messing around on my piano and I just happened to stumble on this riff that I really liked. So I still know the song today, so I would call it an official first composition. Of it. I wouldn't say I have a very specific influence, but I mean, Ludovico Einaudi, he was a big part of some of my songs. Since I really liked his music, it captivated me and yeah, I really like that. And I feel like that was a big influence for me back then. My style isn't too specific, but it'd probably be more in the, it's like beautiful genre because it was very, um, I try to make it captivating and in a way it makes you feel like, ah, oh, that's so good. I also do make other types of music like orchestral music, ensembles of different types. I would make like rock music, ragtime, and that pretty much all like defines like what my music is. I joined flat in between November, late November 2020 or early December that year. And so far the experience has been pretty good. It's the um the editor, the layout is very easy to understand and it's easy to remember. The community is very it's welcoming and when they critique it's very straightforward. I would say that so far it's been pretty good. I discovered Flat when I was, I believe I searched free online music maker and I looked at the top one which was Muse for and after looking at it for, I don't know, a day or so, I was like, you know what, I don't really like it that much. So I kept scrolling down trying to find new ones until I found uh, Flat. It was really easy for me to take hold of the editor and how it works. My favorite composer on flat is probably uh, David Lent. His music really, I guess, inspired me throughout my journey composing. And another favorite is Shane. Her music is very, like with their jazz style, I really like it. I would say my favorite work that I've made is probably Harmonize since it's one of those pieces that I can listen to today and I still enjoy it. It has my favorite chord progression, my favorite chord is in it. It's a, uh, I believe uh, has a piano, some strings and a glockenspiel, but even though it doesn't really match, I, I really enjoy listening to the piece and I enjoy making the piece. My creative process when making a song usually starts at me playing something on the piano and just like maybe like finding a riff or a tune that I like, putting it into the flat editor. And I just added like harmonies, make it sound more full. And I just expand from there. Music to me means a way of communication. Whatever language you speak, you can still communicate through music. It's a way to bring people together. I definitely do see music as a part of my future since that is my dream job, I guess, my dream career. I really like making music and that's, you know, I pretty much want to be a professional composer or maybe even a music teacher. My biggest dream as a musician is probably to make music to as a, a job because I, even though it is fun, I do want it to provide for me, so I do want to, like, in the future, like, be able to sell my music or, like, distribute my music to other people. My advice is to learn music theory since it pretty much gives a firm foundation to composing, and if you know it, it pretty much makes everything easier. When I started composing, I definitely wish I knew how to edit since a lot of things back then in my music wasn't perfect, but I just left it how it was. So I think if I were to know how to make stuff better, or like take stuff out that I don't need, I bet that would have helped me a lot back then. 
My favorite memory of Flat was when I reached 300 followers because a lot of people that I, like, I really looked up to had 300 or so followers. So that was, was pretty recent, but I mean, it's, it was a pretty good moment to have. My advice to the Flat community is to never give up on composing. Because even though the road might be a little bit bumpy, it doesn't mean it's no road at all. So I would say don't give up on what you're trying to do. And I just want to thank Flat for giving me this opportunity to be the Composer of the Month since ever since I was back in November 2020, I've always wanted to be the Composer of the Month. So I do thank the Flat team for helping me reach that goal.